Hey everybody, Nick from Mass Point Digital. I'm standing in the Matrox booth and I'm here to talk with Catherine today about what Matrox is doing to push the open standards conversation. Catherine, welcome. Okay, first off, tell everybody who you are and what you do here at Matrox. Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks, Nick. Um, my name is Catherine Kutseris. I'm the product marketing manager at Matrox. And um, what do I do? I talk about our products, I talk about open standards, and I have the pleasure of sharing it with you. So walk me through a little bit of what open standards are and why people should care. Yeah, definitely. So at Matrox, we're huge proponents of open standards. You can see we're even wearing it on our t-shirts. The t-shirts don't lie. So our standards are open and high. So the idea is, is that when you're working with open standards, you have a lot of flexibility. You're not locked into specific vendors. Um, it allows you to scale your product. I mean, your project. The idea is that if you're based on open standards, you're not stuck to one set of protocols that really boxes you in. So different manufacturers can create different products based on these standards. And then all of those products are designed to interoperate really well. So really unlocks a lot of AV workflows. And at Matrox is what we're, we're big fans of the open standards, but then we're also bringing products that are based on them. So that way our products work well together, but then also with third-party manufacturers that are based on the same standards. And I think the, the third-party manufacturers is probably one of the more important ones because that is what makes it open standard, right? Is that everybody can play together. So what product does this fall into for you all then in the Matrox camp? Yeah, so we've got a ton of products here based on open standards across the booth. So it started with our encoders and decoders. Uh, we also have gateway products. We've got an NMOS controller. Now KVMs is the newest product to join the party. Um, our product is called Avio2. It's the first ever IPKVM that's based on these open standards. So the huge benefits of this for our customers is that it fits directly into your IPMX or 2110 infrastructure, meaning that if you have an IPMX or 2110 stream coming from another source, you can bring that into your operator workstation using your KVM. And then vice versa, if you've got your KVM source, you could send that to another 2110 or IPMX endpoint, like a monitor or projector or a video wall. Um, yeah, so we've got 2110 and IPMX kind of stuff going on around the booth, but Avio2 is our, our, sh our um, shining star for Infocom. It's the first time we're showing her at a show. So at Infocom, I mean. All right, so let's break here and let's move over and talk about Convert IP. All right, so we're over on the other side of the booth. Now we're gonna talk about the Convert IP products and some of the other solutions, but you've got something brand new in your hands. This is the new SDM module. Talk to the audience about what this is good for. Yeah, so I'm excited about this product. It's basically our Convert IP decoder, but in an SDM, so smart display module form factor. So you have all the same functionality as our Convert IP decoder, but uh, in this card form that slides directly into a SDM capable monitor. So we have some behind me right now at the booth. Um, it basically, it's easier for installers to use an SDM form factor because they don't have to mount a box, a bit like you see behind me. Um, you don't have to mount the decoder on the wall, hide it behind a monitor, there's no extra cabling. It's just easier to maintain, easier to install, and you get all the same functionality that you get with our Convert IP module, including the multi-view feature you see behind me. And it's one less power supply that you gotta lug around, network port, all those other things, so it's much cleaner installation and configuration. And this is shipping now? Yes. And what monitors has this been? Is this any monitor with an SDM port this will work with? Yeah, exactly. So we have some here from Panasonic, we have some from Plum, but there are a bunch of manufacturers that are making SDM capable monitors right now. So it's becoming a really like popular form factor, if I'm being honest. So it's one of my favorites. Oh, it's one less device to hang effectively. Okay, so let's talk about Convert IP and sort of the new modules and the pieces that are coming to that. So walk me through this, but I'm gonna hand over because I think you got a lot to say about this. Yeah, sure. So our new Convert IP DSH IP to IP gateway feature um, is great for people who have combinations of IPMX and 2110 infrastructures in the same project or in the same uh, installation. So, uh, for example, if you have in a uh, corporate environment, in a keynote address speech, maybe you have an IPMX camera, maybe you have a playout server, maybe you have um, a Mac that's showing a presentation, maybe internally you have an IPMX network, but then also maybe you're using 2110 signals to broadcast that keynote address out to satellite offices or make it available on the web. So how do you bridge those signals between IPMX and 2110, um, compressed, uncompressed? You would use something like a gateway feature, which we have now with our Convert IP DSH. So the IP to IP gateway feature allows you to bridge those signals um, between uh, more complicated workflows like that. All right, so I've always known Matrox for its video wall capabilities for massive video walls. Explain to the audience what DVW is if they don't, because you know, let's just assume not everybody knows you for your video walls. So let's walk people through DVW for a moment. Yeah, sure. So our Matrox DVW, Matrox Mirror DVW, is stands for Distributed Video Wall, which is what's powering the video wall that you see behind me. 
So each one of these bad boys has four 4K outputs. So what I have behind me is actually five of them that are all synchronized. So that way you can get perfect sync across, uh, well, four times five, so 20 screens. Um, and right now we're playing some 8K content showing that you can really scale out your video walls uh, with our DVW. So we have some new features at the show. Uh, we've got uh, the ability to add web sources directly using this appliance. Oh, thank you. Um, so no need for an external media server. Basically, you just add them directly in the box. So way lighter hardware and uh, easier integration. We have a new web UI that is used for configuring and controlling uh, the software. It's called Mira Control Web. So basically, that's where you set up all your canvases, send them up to your wall, add your sources. It has a really clean, new, easy to use UI. And uh, yeah, we're excited to show it at the show. I'm holding the new Luma Octal card. Explain to me what in the world this monstrosity is. This is a big, beefy card. So what's going on in this card? Yeah, so it is, I, I see how you could think it's big and beefy, but the reality is it's super slim considering what it does. So it's a super capable card. It does eight 5K displays uh, with a single PCI slot. So it allows you more space in your system for other PCI um, cards that you'd want to put in there, like storage, for example. Um, and yeah, allows you to get eight outputs. So it's perfect for anyone who wants to scale up big video walls. Uh, with less space. So perfect for control rooms, perfect for um, digital signage networks, larger video walls. Being that these are 5K outputs, I mean, there's obviously not a lot of TVs that are built for 5K, but for TV LED walls, for as you're saying, specialized digital signage deployments, this would be a perfect box to be able to drive a lot of those displays. And you're right, it is a very slim, it's a you know single PCI slot, single lane. So it doesn't take up a huge amount of space inside of your server chassis. So really impressive there. Now, not just five um, or eight, 5K, but 4K synchronized across eight ports as well. That's also very impressive if you're doing synchronized digital signage around an environment, that, that card could carry a lot. From a systems integrator standpoint, there's a lot here, there's a lot going on. How does a new system integrator or somebody who's not super familiar with Matrox engage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Matrox already, of course, I invite you to come check us out at trade shows like this where you can see everything on one shot. Um, reach out to a sales rep. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to hook you up with a virtual demo. So we have a virtual demo set up at headquarters that you can very easily book a meeting, invite all your colleagues to see what, what, uh, what we have to offer, deep dive really into your technical questions or review any workflows that you may have for ongoing projects or future projects. Um, we can send out some demo units. We have an award-winning tech support team as well, uh, ready to walk you through your installation and answer any questions you might have. So I encourage you, if you're not familiar with Matrox, to find out a bit about us. Um, if you are already familiar with Matrox and using our products, I encourage you to consider different product categories that we have at Matrox. So if you're using our KVMs, for example, maybe send those streams to a decoder for monitoring. Or if you have multiple IPMX kind of uh, open standards based products, maybe use our uh, NMOS controller to route some of those signals. So our products are great as standalone products, but also work so much better when they're working as an ecosystem. Uh, so yeah, I encourage you to see how Matrox can really allow, allow you to realize your vision for AV, not necessarily pull you into force, uh, to force you into the Matrox vision for AV. All right, that's been a full walkthrough of the Matrox offerings. If you're looking for more info or to find out how to engage with Matrox products, visit video.matrox.com for more information. And Catherine, thank you for being my guest today. Thanks, Nick. Always a pleasure.